Greetings Grapple fans, Rob Ringside here with Dow Jones for UKPW Downward Spiral and Dow, let's cut to Kimmy first of all to see what Liam Judd had to say before this contest. Grapple fans, please join me in welcoming my guest at this time, Liam Judd. Liam, today is your singles debut match in UKPW. You're up against Alf Edwards. Do you have any strategies going into this match today? Um, no strategies today, no, but obviously I'm getting my opportunity here against the prolific in UKPW, if I do say so, Alf Edwards. Um, and he doesn't have anything on me. I've watched a lot of his matches. I know what he does. I'm prepared for today. And Alf Edwards is soon going to realise that diamonds are made under pressure. And there is no better diamond than the stud Liam Judd. Best of luck today with your match. Back to you at ringside. Strong words from Liam Judd. It's a, a challenge. He has a, some work cut out ahead of him to pick up the victory on this one. I mean, his opponent has been prolific in UKPW. Yes, indeed. Although he does have banging music. And gear. Let's not forget the gear. Well, Dow, we heard from Alf Edwards earlier in the show. He is still unhappy about the missing out on a one-on-one -on -one match with Sapphire Reed back when the Inter-Regional Championship was in her possession and he blames David Francisco for the result of the last time he was here for Showcase when he came up short in the Inter-Regional title match which saw Harry Sefton leave with the championship. I mean if I was Alf I would definitely have a chip on my shoulder. Alf has been a standout in 2023 but it's 2024. Can he continue that momentum? This is going to be interesting. Both these wrestlers were here in Canterbury last time. Ah, yes, of course. Liam Judd in the tag team with double action, Sean Axon Jackson. Absolutely. Well done. Say Something that like three that. times. No, fast. I think I feel like I've missed an action. You might have missed double action. Action, double. action, double action, Sean Axon Jackson. That's the one. one. Yep. Oh, that's some early shoving. No other word for it. Going on in the ring. Both. Wow. Both these men. Alf Edwards normally able to rely on power to get through, but Liam Judd's equal to the challenge. I mean, he is built. Both wrestlers here are gym fiends. Oh, Alf Edwards telegraphing that one just yeah. the knee to the midsection. I was wondering where that was going to end. Always some early, early advantage, although Judd ducks two clotheslines and whips him through. Oh, wow, Incredible. huge clothesline, left his feet. Oh. Slam to Alf Edwards and a jumping sent on. So much meat on that the button. first cover at two. Bravo, Liam Judd. Really impressive right at the beginning of this match. Alf Edwards almost caught off guard. Oh, uh, you know how light normally travels faster than sound? I heard that one first. Oh. Just one of the most painful things. Oh. Just hurts. No other way to say it. Whips Alf Edwards to the corner. Ducks away from. Oh, oh look at that. Oh no. He Judd just hit it so hard the buckle came off. Oh wow. That just dislodged. Oh dear. Cannonball! Oh! Alf Edwards unfazed. Just cannonballs in Judd. Wow. That just yanks him away and goes for the cover. A one kick. Again, that turnbuckle, yeah, that, that turnbuckle pad coming off has made that corner quite a dangerous corner for this match. I wonder if any of the ring crews are going to be able to put that back on. Tristan's busy enough trying to be a referee. I don't know where that pad went. And a suplex. His stock in trade. That was the first suplex of the match. You're going to keep the score this time? I think so. Two. That was one. Well, I could do that. One suplex. I am out of 
just out to make this one. Dreadful character. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, just trading blows. And Fogel's forearms to the back and Liam Judd forearms to the midsection. Just, just casually tosses Liam Judd to the outside. And now Fogel's just able to just rest. Just take a breather. Just have a little wonder, no big deal. Interesting, he is going to make his way to the outside. Perhaps not wanting to win by counter. Mm, interesting. Oh, okay, maybe not then. Maybe it's about the post and proximity to it. Well, we talk about using the ring to your advantage. Yes, indeed. Free Tristan Stone, meanwhile, reassembling it. And uh, Alf Edwards runs into Little Judd's backup. Ooh. That won't do it. Tristan Stone making sure that the backup doesn't get involved. Liam Judd means business. You can see the determination on his face. Whips him across. What are we going to see? Went for a spine buster, I think. But Alf Edwards just manoeuvring around it. Applying that pressure to the back of the forearms. Oh. Looks like another one. A nice T-bone suplex. How'd you like him done? Well done. Suplex plus plus. Kick out at two. I'll make that two suplex. Two I'm suplexes. Two. I'm going to get Alf Edwards, when you're, are you conscious that we're counting, do you think? Or do you think he worries about it? Uh, not at all. No. Right, uh, okay. Yeah, not at all. That's probably good. I don't want to, I don't want to be accused of distracting. Uh, I think being known for being a suplex merchant, being a master of suplexes. Yeah. You have to expect a certain amount of counting. He knows we have nonsense. Ooh. Oh, there's a chop. Revenge from earlier. Supposed to be selling, but it's okay. Mm. That's oh. a very good point, Rob. Could be the chop merchant with trade like with craft like that. Oh, oh spits in his face. That's a that's a surefire way to get someone quite yeah. angry. Absolutely. <laughs> that's being polite. In the post-pandemic world, is it is it cricket? On the cover too. across the ring. Oh! That was Those two nasty buckle pads hit. are not going to endure this contest. No. The top one looks a little bit on the loose side after that one. I feel like we're going to have to get new turnbuckle pads because people keep really throwing people into these corners. Absolutely. Alf Edwards going back everything he had. You can see it as he left his feet. If you whip with someone and you leave your feet, you probably give it a feral whack. Absolutely. Oh! And Judd telegraphed that one. Looks to whip Alf Edwards with a whip of his own. Oh! Big Insiguri into the corner. Just trying to trade off. There's that spine buster. Goes for the cover. Unbelievable. Two. That was an outrageous spine buster. Those toe buckle pads are dropping off out of fear now, I think. That's a very good observation. Goes for it. Looks like a spear, but eight yes. canvas instead. Pop up. Looks for the pop up. He pops over. Waste luck of his own. Dark side clothesline. Oh, wow! What a spear! Unbelievable. And a two. I really thought that was going to be over there. Well, with a spear of that venom, I'm not surprised. What? I am surprised. All credit to our for kicking that back. The thing with the spear is it's a double hit. You get hit in the ribs and then you land on the ground. And Judd Signal is going to try and hit this one. Oh! Oh, explode wow. a suplex. There's the third sent one. Sent him all the way over. Some people call that an X-plex. Pop, Pop up. up. Oh, not a power bomb, but looking to, looking to apply that clover leaf. He's tapping. He's tapping. He's tapping. Okay. Okay, man, I know you. I think he taps. Here is your winner, the Super Smashers, Al Edwards!
Well, Grapple fans, there you have it with a submission that came so out of nowhere that it actually caught the entire live crowd by surprise. The suplex merchant Alf Edwards shows there's more than one string to his bow and picks up the submission victory. Dow Jones, your thoughts? I mean, some of these moves were so expl explosive. Some of these moves were incredible. I actually think that Liam Judd landed awkwardly in one of those previous moves. I don't know when we're going to have to look at the replay, but then when Alf was able to get that cloverleaf on, I think Liam just had to give up. He's got an injured shoulder, it looks like. We've got a serious issue here. But congratulations to the, su to the suplex merchant for a yet another victory. Liam Judd is being examined by medical professionals at ringside. Not that one. And uh, is being helped to the back. This crowd shows their appreciation for his efforts. We can only wish the speed of recovery to win at this point. Greetings, Grapple fans. Rob Ringside here, reminding you to check out more UKPW content on our YouTube channel. There's links everywhere around us. So just pick one, and you're going to have some fantastic wrestling action.